What does that mean? If I if I walked, I would have been walking on my own steps. Okay. And as Red, Red Rat gave a lovely rat up on me, his, his expression was he didn't know if he was coming or going. I still smile yeah. about that remark. Red Rat, he's a brilliant car. I'm in John Easter book. How did you overcome that? I just wanted to, what, I wanted did to play. Just work I it? just wanted to play sport, and then uh, I found I had a very good R for a, a ball, so I took up tennis mm -hmm. and used to play barefoot in clay courts. Where, which fields it's did you go Rich, to? No, Richmond tennis courts in Camperdown. Okay. Richmond and the uh, Camperdown. That's Camperdown, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and that, in, in essence, uh, so, I, I was runner up in the under 14 singles. I won the boys' doubles. Yeah, won the boys' doubles. Mm -hmm. And I uh, uh, won the uh, boys' doubles and won the mixed doubles. I was running up in the under 14 singles. Mm -hmm. And I thought, shit, I've got some ability and something. Yeah. And I, then I said, no, boys realized you can't play too many sports you got to pick one if you want to get to the top and do well in one and do one yes yeah, nice like Michael my nephew Michael was a brilliant very mm. good in everything he played but he didn't persevere in one yeah so yeah so at, at that point at one point you decided to stick to football yeah but then you said you went to the Merchant Navy joined the Merchant Navy lost my that through what, professional old, football Pardon? Through professional football, I lost my lost my job. I just come out of my town. Okay, so you did your your merchant navy. Was it a, like an obligation? No, no. You volunteered. No, no I just, just wanted to get away. Okay, how old are you? Twenty-one. Okay, that's before you turned professional. That before, yeah, no, after I turned professional. After you turned professional. Oh. Okay, so explain to me how you came about to be professional. Right. The true story. And who, and who approached you? The true story, and don't let anyone tell you this. This is the truth. John Foster and them were approached by someone in Joburg. I think it was Viv Granger. Yeah. To turn pro. Viv Granger eventually became chairman of yeah, the NFL. He started. He? he started. Yes. He said, right, get aside and you'll build get your side to join join this league yeah and you'll be called Durban Queens okay anyway the, the Saturday the Sunday came Hoi Park now on Saturday we were playing against Ambila and I dived at Samak's feet and I was sit across here so I could hardly walk and Topper Brown walked across to me he said Arthur just can't stand there I said Topper I can't walk oh. Ken then says, you're mad, you're mad, you're mad, you're mad. You you stop. Yeah, don't be stupid, don't be stupid. Topper said, just can't stand there. That's why I know Gordon Stewart was the first goalkeeper. The first goalkeeper? For, for Durban United. Okay, the very first that one. Was, well, no, it was the first goalkeeper in the first game. Oh, was, okay, I don't okay, even think yeah. the side had a, had a name. Okay, they but, weren't professional but, yet. No, but Topper said, I'll go. And Norman Elliott was there. Yeah. Chairman of he the had to, city. He had to be there. The Silver Fox. Yeah, and he wasn't called the Silver Fox or nothing. He yeah. thought, hello, he has money, yeah? yeah. Pro football, he has money. Yeah. And Monday, he went and signed all Oaks. He went to Queen's Park, Ken Dennis, Oral Williams, Marty Deeves, Danny Lerou. Was he but there? No, he just wasn't there. Not there. He was playing for Addington, if I remember. Lee Carlton? Brea Park, he approached him. That's how he got, that's how Durban City started. Yeah. No other, and that's the What truth. year was that? 1958? 1959. 59. Yeah. The league started in 59, didn't 59, it? 59, yeah. Yeah. Um, the National Football About league. June, July, around June, July. The, the game I played mm. was, I think it was the 4th of October. The first game? Yeah. Because what happened? October. Uh, then, then Durban City, Durban, uh, Durban United, Mm -hmm. Started at the side. Okay. And they signed Gary Innes. Okay. 
Or was it what position did he play? Goalkeeper. Okay. So I knew, I, was just, I, was, I couldn't, no one would sign me or even look at me yeah. while, while I'm limping. And then after a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. I'd just come out of my time and I got a phone call. Please, will you play, come and play for Derby United? So I said, yeah, of course. Yeah. What a question. From who? Who found you? I can't remember. I okay. can't remember who. Was, uh, the Oka used to belong to um, Railway Institute, a Hurley, it's not Hurley. Cyril Hurley, Cyril Merley. Cyril, not Merley, no. I remember he was... Cyril Merley was one of the first, the early owners of Devon United. Yeah, Devon. well it could have been him. Anyway, so we travelled up by car to go and play Brackpad. From Durban. From Durban. Go up by car, we left. On was this now the Friday. official league and it started? Yes, that, that's a league game. Okay. And we went up, we played Blackpan United Friday night. Yeah. And I'm sure we won 2 1 or 2 0. Okay. Arthur Heyman was my right, was the right back. Um, geez, I can know all the guys, man. Um, no, I'll, I'll go through there. Then there's Colin Scott. Um, Ken Adult, was he there? Ken, no, he didn't play pro football, Ken Adult, okay. he had retired. Um, Colin Kilbister, Ivan Saunders, unbelievable halves. They, 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 their engine mm. didn't ever stop. Yeah. Um, right wing was Ross, Ross Hill. Peter Smithers was our centre forward. Smithers? Peter, Peter Smithers. Is he Derek Smithers' father? I, I'm thinking he is. Okay. Interesting. Uh, and now Arthur, you said it's October now. Yeah. Because normally, like it was, normally it was a winter sport. Yeah, but don't forget about this, October. Don't forget the soccer had only just started. Right? It only been named for a couple so of months. So like it's something had yeah. decided. It so wasn't like just carry on. seasonal thing. So yeah. they started yeah. in October. Yeah. Because normally the no, they started before October. The yeah. Game after first game after. Okay. Yeah. Okay. A Friday night. Then we went through to Pretoria. From there. From, from there. Then. And played Arcadia Shepherds. And we beat them 3 0 or 3 1. Where was this? Caledonian. Caledonian. What does it feel like in those days? What were the yeah, feels like that, generally? It, it never worried me. But do you remember, was it like bumpy? No, they were, they were, they were good, good, after? good amateur grounds, good amateur grounds. Okay. And the crowds? Yeah, there was a few. That's the first time I had a bottle thrown at me. <laughs> And then, so good. Yeah, no, because I think we beat Why did they throw a bottle at you? No, I don't know. I don't know. And was it full though? No, I don't know. <laughs> and then some wise guy in the, in the convoy says, now he knows the way back. Yeah. But way back from where now? From, from Pretoria. From Driok. From Driok. We end up in Kelly's. Yeah. Now we end up. No, uh, no what? Good. Caledon, um, You're going to Pretoria. Caledonian. Pretoria. 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 We played yeah. Pretoria. Beat them 3 yeah. three, no, three one. So you won two games over the yeah. weekend. And then, this axe is really, he knows the way back. Yeah. We end up at Ookies. Where's that? On the bloody Swaziland Bordler. <laughs> Yell Sprite. Where was your GPS? Hey, there's no <laughs> GPS in those days. And we got back at about, I don't know, 10 o'clock in the morning, 9, 10 o'clock, to play Germiston Kelly's. Play them where? Yeah. Yeah, in Hoi Park. At so point. like you played two games up there yeah. and you got to rush back and play another game uh, here. Yeah. Why was all the rush? Well, it's just, just started, pro football just started. This was, yeah. this was like a feeling. So within one week you were like playing three games? No, it did. Well, we did. We played those two games. Yeah. I think it was like a catch up for us. Okay. For doing that. Late entry I maybe. think so, yeah. Okay. And then we got to back here. Yeah? Got back at about 10, half past 10. And we played, we had to get there and play Jervis and Kelly's. And they were one lap after five minutes. What happened, Arthur? What happened? What happened? How did you uh, concede uh, so early? I mistimed. It was I your fault, yeah. I would say it was my fault. I went out okay. a bit too far. But we came back and gave them six one. Six. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. Yeah, six. <laughs> they didn't worry. They all, they all forgot my mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness for your teammates. Uh, yeah. Eh? But well done. I'm yeah. sure you saved a few more uh, after that. No, I was. I've, then, I've seen some photographs then, of you, but which I maybe I'll insert when you uh, put the video out. Then, 
when you when you uh, come when you come out for the ball, you you got you had a very good style. Yeah. But uh, did you dominate your your area? Were you yes. that kind oh, of keeper? Yeah. Were you a goal line keeper? No. Had reflexes. I, would, I knew you had to get off a little bit. And your reflexes were, were they good? I had re unbelievable reflexes. Unbelievable reflexes. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you agree with me. In the old days, okay, the goalkeepers used to dominate areas more than they do now. Do you th am I yeah. right in saying no, that? I no, I don't think so. I think a lot of keepers were scared. When in those days? Yeah, don't worry. Because well, they got clattered. No, they got clattered. Hey, you got Jesus. You didn't get protected. I remember going up. You'd have one eye on the oak, gonna hit you. Yeah. One eye on the ball. Yeah. <laughs> so you could be squint at times. Yeah. <laughs> so and you knew. Jeez. They were coming. Don't hold this one because you're gonna end up at the back of the net. In yeah. those days, back of the net with the ball, you it's a goal. It's a goal, yeah. yeah. And then I played. Not like nowadays, uh, yeah. they're protected species. Then I ended up playing two games for Marisburg Celtic. So I had five games all told. Professional? Professional. And then you went to Merchant then, Navy? Then I joined Merchant Navy. Why did you leave to go if you were playing football? Uh, I was taking my, she's my wife, to take taking her out and we were engaged and we used to tell her. Make it up, break it up, make it up, break it up. So let me get out of this. Get, get away, yeah? Perspective. Uh, the biggest mistake I made, but. Uh, How long did you go for? Three years. But I, already, I saw a lot. I learned a lot. I learned about where, love. Where did they take you? I went out Far East first. Okay. Went Far East. What did that involve yeah. being part of the Merchant Navy? Electrician. I was an electrician on the ship. On the ship, yeah. On the ship. Yeah. Yeah. I was chief okay. electrician. And I came back, I joined Seth Marine, as in. Were you a natural seafarer? No. Or did you get sick? No, no, I didn't get seasick. Nothing. Okay. And I came back and Helen was going out to someone else, a girlfriend.